Hi, my name is Drew Hudgens, and today I'm going to show everyone a new feature in Photoshop CS5 called Puppet Warp. I'm going to quickly go through how I made a smoke trail, because we're going to be warping a smoke trail. I first started with a white stripe, and then I'm simply turning on these layers just to show you the steps I, I went through. And then I liquefied, white stripe liquefied, and then I took that liquefied white stripe and I smudged it around using the smudge tool, which is underneath the blur tool in your toolbox. Now before I go any farther, I'm going to convert this to a smart object. And once that gets converted, I'm going to go to the edit menu where you find your other transform and warp tools. So right here is this new puppet warp feature. I'm going to simply take my cursor which now looks like a push pin and I'm going to push down some anchors about six or seven anchor points will be fine I'll say okay on this and click the check mark now I'll scoot this to the side and underneath I do have a destination Photoshop document I'll simply drag and drop my smoke with anchor points into it I'll return to the edit menu go back to puppet warp and check that out all those anchor points have actually remembered what I did with them so here we go we're gonna turn this into, you can see it coming, we're going to turn this into a number two. I'll even add one more anchor point because you can you can add anchor points at any, any point in time. Okay, this will be smoke dissipating up in the air. So I'll go ahead and say okay by clicking the check mark. Now I did lose some of my soft smoky edges. I still have my smudge tool selected. I'll simply click on that layer. Photoshop says, hey man, you can't do that because it's not rasterized. Okay, that's cool. We're ready to go ahead and rasterize it. And there you have it, using Puppet Warp to actually have editable points on something like smoke and push into a letter or a number. So happy 20th birthday, Photoshop. We'll see you in another 20 years when we're all using Photoshop version 24. Thanks very much, ladies and gentlemen, for checking out this video cast. And until next time.